Hey guys, it's Zach, and welcome back to the shop. For the first time ever, we have a hatch on the teardrop trailer. You want to see how I did it? Stick around. Is it? Is it just beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, this has been, wow, <laughs> just a lot of work. Um, I, I want to apologize, though, that I didn't come out and show everything that I did in this step just because I was in a just get it done kind of mode. Um, this, this teardrop is actually going in an upcoming woodworking show, so it was a matter of just, I got to get it done. So, but there are a few things that I did want to point out to you if you go ahead and do this yourself. Uh, one thing for the one of the major issues I had was dealing with this hinge. Uh, the hinge itself um, works great. It's a it's actually called a hurricane hinge, but down here is a 90 degree angle. And when I built the the actual bulkhead to the hatch, I didn't have that 90 degrees. So what I had to do, let's see if you can see that, is I had to make a piece of oak um, wedge in there to make it 90 degrees. It's not ideal, but I think it will work, and then I sunk in uh, inch and a half screws all the way through, so I think it's going to hold just, just fine. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is you may notice that I have weather stripping on the top and on the bottom, and that's also not ideal. Um, what happened was when I, when I built this thing, I made it almost too snug that when I put it all together, the center, so the center here, was actually bowing out some. And as much as massaging I did with the aluminum, I just could not get it to sit right. So I had to put a, a thin piece of weather stripping up here to account for that. Um, but other than that, it's great. It fits great. And actually, it's such a tight fit. When I let go of it, it won't slam. It will actually, there's an air pocket that keeps it from, from slamming all the way, which is kind of cool. Um, and then up here is actually the... Uh, the locking mechanism that you um, you have to attach down in this area. So all in all, folks, I'm super happy with the progress. Um, I'm pretty sure this thing is going to be waterproof or weatherproof, I guess, um, after all the work we put into it. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.